And developing tonight, the women's soccer team at LaSalle on probation amid substantiated hazing allegations. Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. The Inquirer was the first to report the investigation. And tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance spoke to the father of a young woman who prompted it. Shante. And Joe, I spoke with that father of a freshman soccer player. He says that she was being hazed since joining the team in early August. Despite LaSalle University's campus shutting down for winter break, the school is heating up with controversy. LaSalle confirmed to Eyewitness News that its Division I women's soccer team has been placed on disciplinary probation for one year following a thorough internal investigation into allegations of hazing. As a dad, I must admit to you, I was, I was angry. I had a, a ton of mixed emotions. In a phone interview, Al Miller of Union, New Jersey, described some of the hazing his daughter freshman forward Kayla Miller People says she experienced from her teammates. You make her stand in a circle and not based on any, again, no practice activity or skill performing things uh, where they would kick balls at, at them. Miller says Kayla speaking up only exacerbated her problems, causing depression and soccer coach Paul Royal to kick her off the team. LaSalle says its investigation revealed examples of hazing. The school released a statement reading in part, while the investigation found no behavior necessitating university disciplinary action against specific individuals, we take very seriously all claims of hazing and other forms of inappropriate behavior. It's pretty surprising to me. Uh, I'm really shocked about it. It's not the culture we have here on the athletic teams at LaSalle, I believe. The school says all players on the women's soccer team must now complete an educational workshop focused on respecting teammates and bystander intervention. Spring season competition will also be restricted, and the team must perform community service next semester. I mean, obviously, it's a serious matter they're investigating, so it makes sense that they'd be uh, taking it very seriously. And that soccer player's father says she's been in touch with an attorney. Meanwhile, we reached out to the coach of that soccer team. We have not yet heard back. Live at LaSalle University, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shante, thank you for that report.